guys, what's going on? It's Arcavius, your lovable big boy. Well, it turns out, you know, we didn't get to see the special little cutscene for beating everybody, because I was holding escape, and I thought it said skipping, but it actually said quitting. Um, so, yeah, but we didn't have to refight anybody, luckily. It just, it just kind of continues through. So, my whole theory on it was that, because... Flowey over like pretty much saves over your file after the game ends um, during his fight. I think that counts. Honestly, you probably wouldn't have to fight Flowey at that point. At the end of it, you probably just exit out and it'll continue. But we're not going all the way through to check that. So we're going to continue on with our pacifist run. Now we're on the pacifist run. That was the neutral run, technically. Hey, yeah. this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This is your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh... Please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. Click. Well, you uh, have your objective. Is there a fast way to get over there? River person. Hmm. Which way is River person? I wouldn't. It's at the very beginning of Hotland. Yeah, there's an elevator you can go to. But I don't know which floor it is. It's probably like one of the one forts. Oh, it's next to the fire there. What? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? You didn't talk to him before, did you? No. He said, when you first talked to him, it was like, Remember my name, Flames Flamesman. Then if you talk to him this time, to say what you remember my name? Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Get fooped, Timmy. <gasps> Hi there! Chualala! Care for a ride? My mama said never to take rides from strangers, but you're not a stranger. Where will you go today? Snowden. Then we're off. <gasps> it's doggo boat. Tra la la. The waters are wild today. That's good luck. Isn't this whole thing technically just a giant sewer for the underground? Or for the over or surface, I mean? Probably. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Oh, hello there, random butterfly. Let's continue to play Monsters and Humans. What? Whoa, wait, what the fuck just happened? I just heard a noise after that. Let's continue to play Monsters and Humans. Oh, okay. That was weird. Um, so, I have a favor to ask. Oh, I will not give you five dollars, Undyne. Uh, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Uh, why don't I do it myself? Um, well, I just got a personal we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much, you're the best. Go back to the river person and open up the letter. Okay. Undyne writes lots of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite it. That's why she asked you, because you have no standards. Wow. Actually, I think you're supposed to drop the letter. Drop Not it? Not read it. Yeah. So I drop it at river person? You drop it when you're when you're out when you're inside like another area, because if you're in the same area, on that we notice. Okay, so I take Razor Person to Hotland. No, 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 no. Too late. I'm already telling me to go somewhere. For fuck's sake, you're gonna have to go back and get another ladder after this. It's just funny. Tra -la -la. What's a game you could play with a dog? Asking for a friend. 
so I had to drop the letter. Yeah. Then you have to go back to see Undyne. Despite what seems like common sense, he threw away the letter. <laughs> Where are we good today? Snowden. You all heard Bob. He said I have to go to another area, otherwise she'll notice. I didn't mean an area entirely. I meant like get off that room. Yes, that's what you call a room. Here we are. Cha la la. What the fuck do you mean you dropped my letter? Because <laughs> <laughs> do a boss battle, fucking. This fucking true hero Undyne comes at me. You lost the letter? What the heck? How? Why? Ugh, this is unbelievable. I should really disappoint in you. But, yeah, to tell you the truth, I'm kind of relieved. While you were gone, I actually wrote a way better letter, and this time you won't lose it. I guarantee it. No matter what you do, you cannot drop that letter anymore. <laughs> what does it say? Well, try. Try and find out. Okay. The letter is too powerful to throw away. It gets better. It gets the better of you. Okay, so how do I read it now? Use? I don't think you can. Let's try it. You tried to open the letter, but it's been shut so tightly you need a chainsaw in order to open it. <laughs> Alright. Let's get that old office. Undyne's letter EX, unique. It has don't drop it written on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Care for a ride? Yes. Where will you go today? Hotland. Then we're off. Tra la la. Hey. Tra la la. Tammy Village. The room before the Darkening Lantern Room. Tra-la-la. Come again sometime. Tra-la-la. Alright. I thought you said I could read the letter. Or was that only the first one? Uh, I, I was mistaken. Okay. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? Slide. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it, it shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Is that a fucking chainsaw? <laughs> hey, is this... is a joke. It's... Oh, oh my god. D did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have. Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. I had no idea you wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. <laughs> I don't want to go on a date with her! <laughs> Fuck, man! Dating start- this is a boss fight! No, uh, not. sorry, I'm still getting dressed. <laughs> How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyways, let's do this thing. Hey, hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? <laughs> um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't increase this chance of successful outcome to the date. Is this supposed to be like a dating sim? <laughs> wow, we did just shit on dating sims. 
one. Don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. Uh, first, I've got some metal armor polish. Uh, maybe you can't use that. But I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. <laughs> your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating, start! Yeah, let's, uh, date. Someone killed me, You can tell it, she. Flowey, can you just kill me? <laughs> Come on, this is awkward as fuck. You, uh, like anime? If I say yes, she's gonna go on forever. If I say no, it's probably gonna go on forever. Say yes. <sighs> hey, me. <laughs> wow. That's a weird way to say hey. Uh, hey, me too. Okay. Hey, let's go somewhere. Boy, is a good place to go on a date. I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Where trash like you belongs. Oh! Here but we you're are. also trash. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. She's really, uh. Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well. Oh no, here she comes. Hey! There you are! I, uh, realized if you delivered that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it. I almost said a racial slur. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing you call yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you at least seen her? Yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you. I feel like I'm dating my third grade teacher. She looks she looked just like Alphys. <laughs> I swear to God, like, if, if, if there was a human version of my third grade teacher, it would be Alphys. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I am. Alright, come on, bruh, hurry up. <laughs> Not that you aren't, um, cool. But Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. Uh, almost wrote a little bit. A fraud. <laughs> I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. My voice is giving out. If she gets close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Keep lying to her, that's the only way friendships work. No. I mean I was lying to Bob about how I got him that present, but you know. I mean, huh? Hi Bob. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> The truth, but if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it, way, isn't it better this way to live a lie where both people are happy, or a truth where neither of us are? are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. <sighs> Bro, I've never had to deal with someone who talks as much as her. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared that will happen. What will happen if people learn the truth on their own? Look at her because of me. But how can I tell Undyne this truth? I don't have the confidence. Oh my god, my voice is fucking up. I'm gonna mess it up somehow. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. Obviously, let's roleplay. I don't get a way out of this, do I? Roleplay? Okay, which one will you be? Which one of us will be Undyne? <laughs> I wonder how she would act if I made her Undyne. Bob? Try and find out. 
me, Undyne? Uh, uh, okay. I'll say what I think she say, and, um, you show me what I'm supposed to do. Ahem. Yeah, hey, Alphys, you look cute today. <laughs> Which I say often, but platonically, because I would never like you. Yo, you're one hot, hot baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Undyne, can we talk? Talk to you? I guess so. I often seem excited to listen to you for some reason. I will make intent eye contact with you so you sweat while you talk. <laughs> so what is it? <laughs> Alphys gives you a kiss. What? I would never. Alphys, what are you doing? I say, pushing you away from me. You shouldn't kiss me. <laughs> but you're so good at it because of what you learned from those dating video games. I can't help but kiss you back. Yeah, yeah, I'm undying and I'm piling on the smooch. <laughs> what did you just say? Oh god. Uh, undying, I was just. Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, I mean, no. I like her face now. She's like, <laughs> oh, she's like, you fucking what, mate? No, I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we were only romantically role playing as you. What? What? <laughs> I mean, I mean, Dundine, I've been. That is a fucking scary face. <laughs> <laughs> I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was... I really just... And those human his... What the <laughs> fuck? History, movies, those those are just uh, anime. They aren't real. In that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my PJ. Alphys. I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool, that I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. I'm dying. I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. Shh. Kobe! Oh shit! <laughs> Alphys! I, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is you care about, 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are, and I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you, you're gonna train me? What? Me? <laughs> <laughs> Jog boy? Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaken! It's time to jog 1,000 laps hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. And I... I'll do my best. <laughs> oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Yeah. Oh my god. What if I say no? Is she gonna freak? Yes. Anime's real. Anime's real. Ha! I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for here. For her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Why are you gonna leave me in the trash bin, dog? Come on. Piles of garbage. There's quite a few brands you recognize. Is the dummy here again? No. Determination star. Partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's in the cooler? It's a 
cooler. It has no brand and signs nowhere of where. Inside is a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one? Hell yeah. Give me all the astronaut food. Ugh. If it if it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus. You're also a mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early, very early, so I sent her home, very home. And uh, now, I feel strongly, and for no apparent reason, you should also go there to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. I have a feeling that wasn't Papyrus. That was Papyrus. I don't believe that shit for one second. That doesn't seem like how- like, I know Papyrus is kind of klutzy, that but- That was Papyrus, I don't but... believe it. But... Someone told him... ...to do that message. I gotta find that asshole who can... No, that's the wrong asshole. Exit. <laughs> <laughs> There's the asshole I'm looking for. Tra la la. Care for a ride? Yes. Where will we go today? Hotland. Then we're off. Whee! Pet, pet, pet. The next stretch is infinitely into the cosmos. Don't worry about it. Huh. Just those random things. <laughs> Come again sometime. Try la la. My voice is gonna be fucked tomorrow. It's <laughs> <laughs> a big ass hole in the wall right there. It's a note from Alphys. Read it? Read. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me, but as difficult as to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear, <clears throat> hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. Well, you all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Well, that's all she wrote, guys. That's the end of the series. I hope you all no. have <laughs> I'm just gonna head on downstairs. Warning! Please, Warning! Oh, fuck! Dude, this is like one of my worst nightmares is a fucking elevator just crashing. I thought it was the ocean! I said one of, not my worst. <laughs> you had multiple fears, Bob, alright? I'm not a. I'm. <laughs> it's, having healthy amount of fear keeps you alive in this world. Sure it does. Alright, you try looking an alligator in the face and tell me what happens. Entry number All one. Right. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The Souls of Monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require an incredible power. Besides being, besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. But. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. 
the will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Ooh. Spooky. Determination star. Welcome to the true lab. Buy chips? No. Fuck your chips. Fuck it right in the face. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. The bodies can't mean today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. What happens if I inject determination into them? Their souls persist after they perish, then. Freedom might be closer than we all thought. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get their souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funeral. So I had to turn this back down and slap shit. <laughs> People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? We turn on the sink. We turn on the sink. We turn on the sink. Aw, oh, someone nutted in the sink. <laughs> oh, it's smiling at me. Oh! Space drew near. Oh, I can just spare them right off the bat. Nice. You won. Wait, really? Yeah, I didn't have to fight them. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Train dropped it. That's all you could read. Click. Ricky, you're Fitzburg. supposed to fight the amalgamates. I didn't have to fight that one, apparently. Get fucked, Bob. I found a, 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 I found a glitch in the game. I'm also gonna save just in case. Did I read this one yet? Oh, power. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. That's fucking creepy. It's an empty dog food bowl. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners? I bet you're gonna search all these beds. Aha! My yellow key! Seems like this research was dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to the garden, and called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow, smiley face. No, 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 <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Who left the dildo on in the curtain? <laughs> Why the green key in the bathtub? You took or put it on your keychain. That doesn't even make sense. I'm running this bitch, Bob. Fucking record time speed run of Undertale. <laughs> now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me. Oh. Wait a minute. I feel like there's a change here. Hmm? Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. 
that we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. The, the, the notes changed. It's like, it went from being, like, really confident about it to Alphys's. Yeah. Hello, blob monster. It's the amalgamite. I could just spare them off the bat. I'm not having to fight them. Okay, there's something wrong with your save file, like, you're not supposed to spare them right away. You're not supposed to be able to. Huh. What do you have? I have a bunch of star phase, heart locket, worn dagger, astronaut food. Um, uh, wait. What do you have equipped? Hang on. Burnt pan and temi armor. Did you say that you were gonna, like before, you were gonna try and get through the boss as quickly as possible because we didn't know that, uh... What did you do? Mm. I think I up the attack damage. That might be it. You think? Wait, why would that have to do with it, though? Because they're scared of you. <laughs> Fuck that. Hold on one second. Let, let's, let me go back and I'll change it. I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna change it, we'll see if that's what it was. Entry number seven, we'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster can absorb the souls of other monsters, just as humans can absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Golden flowers. Entry number ten, experiments on the vessels are failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyways. The seeds just stick to you and won't let you go. Hello, Mr. Imagination. Yep, that's what it was. They were too scared to fight me. That's that's exactly what yeah, it was. Yeah, I figured that was it. That is so funny. Okay, well, here we go. Act. Okay, I'm on the bird monster. I'm guessing it's half amalgamation, half something else, so... They're all amalgamation. I mean, not amalgamation, um... The eye thing. Stigmatism. Pick on. Stigmatism. Looks like... Dogs? That's also known as a reaper bird. This one, this one's called Reaper Bird. It's supposed to be a combination of Final Frog at Wins a Lot and Estigmatism. Okay, so I did Pick On, Mystify, and then Prey? Yeah. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. I miss when they just get when they were afraid of me. Can I just go back to that? No. No, get, get Kara out of your body, okay? <laughs> dude, that's dude, that's exactly what that was too. Fucking, they were afraid of me, and they're just like, nah, dog. <laughs> because I I didn't actually think that was a thing for the amalgamates, because it's supposed to be a true pacifist for an only monster. So you know what it was is that I put my attack so high that it actually ran out of um, attack space. It was it said 20 e16. That means that it was. My attack was so high, it couldn't configure my attack power. Well, so, it doesn't matter, because you can't attack anything in the true passive run anyways. You'll just say that you miss or won't do any damage. Oh, man. That's interesting, though. Yeah, I've learned something new.
Lay on the bed? Hell yeah. Wait, what happens? Hmm? I'm laying on the bed. Stay there. Oh, fuck that! Stay there. Stay there. Oh, it's getting an erection, dude. I don't know about this. Just stay there until it disappears. Fuck this, dude. Really? No. Stay. It's gone now. Okay. It just wanted to tuck you in. Tuck itself in. One of the bodies open its eyes. Wait, did I ever get through here? Yeah, I have. Wait, where the fuck am I supposed to come then? fans. Okay, flip the switch in the fan. Where do I go now? I need the blue key. How do I get the blue key? So you have the fan activated. Yeah. Did you fight the the dog elevation in that area? I mean, I fought it, but it fucking insta-spared, remember? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, go to the very leftmost room. All the way left? Yeah. I was- I got really nervous, I'm like, I thought you were about to say it was supposed to drop it after you fight it. No. Oh, there's a room over here! Oh! That's there's also a room where you can- There's also a room where you see the, the determination extractor. Mm-hmm. Where you can walk with list to videotapes of the story. Okay, lemon bread. I did hum, and what's the next one? Lemon bread. Lemon bread is actually Shiren's mother. Or sister, I think it's my sister. They are a combination of Aaron and Mold Moldybug. So if you know their attacks, you know what you can do for them. Okay, well I did hum, which is Shiren's thing, and then Flex. And then unhug. Unhug? Unhug. Sure, after I fucking drip the star fake, this thing's gonna kill me. Yeah, there, if that one's attacks I don't like it. I think gas was the one that made it. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. it Seems to be labeled in specific order. Will you watch one? Why not? Tape one. Psst! Gory, wake up! Mm -hmm. What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shush! I want to get your reaction! Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. 
No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. Ho, ho, ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamedian. Well, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey, come on. Tori, that one was funny. Uh, I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Aww. Oh dear, perhaps it's too dark in here for the video to come out. Tape two. The hell? Hey, Serene, are you ready? I've never heard this voice before. Do your creepy face. Ah, hee hee. Oh wait! I had the lens cap on! Wait, there's more girlish. Mm. <clears throat> what? You're not gonna do it again? Come on! Quit tricking me! Haha! <laughs> do you know who that is? No fucking clue. You want me to tell you? Nah. All right. Howdy, Serene! It's Flowey! He said howdy, it's- it's Flowey! It's not Flowey. Ow, my ass! Smile for the smile for the camera! Huh? This time I got you! I let the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. Hee <laughs> hee. What? Oh yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um. Anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. I don't remember these events happening. This is before. But it says Serene. I I don't like this idea, Serene. What? No, I'm I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I never doubt you, Serene. Never. He, yeah. We'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Yo, Serena about to commit Sudoku? Stand. Are you starting to understand? Kinda. Serene, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Serene, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. S Serene, please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I, no, I said, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Wait, there's a thing over here. I've been researching humans to see if I could find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Tree number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone's coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't need to answer the phone anymore. <laughs> it's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. That was chicken. <laughs> Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute tea cup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. <laughs> To refrigerator. It's empty. My ass it's empty, it's shaking. Spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. To refrigerator. It's a, it seems to contain samples of some kind. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. That's not an empty refrigerator. <laughs> Ew. That one is Snow Drake's mother. Laugh or joke? Just say jokes three times. This is so sad. 
I know. That's so sad! I know. Click the green key fits perfectly into the slot. Alright, now we gotta go to the blue. Still wanna know why that refrigerator's shaking. What's shaking, bacon? <laughs> go now again? All the way right or down? Oh, you have to find where the blue key slot is. If that's the last key. Because there's like four keys in total. Oh yeah, that's the last key I have, is the blue key. So now you have to find where the slot is. Fits perfectly into the slot. Alright. Go back to the door that was locked before. Next to the chip machine. Next to the what? The chip machine. Oh, the so. Oh. I was like, what the fuck are you saying, chip machine? <laughs> Sorry. Wait, just let me in? Yeah, because you have all the keys in there now. Those were locked. Locking that door. Seems to be turned off. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. Um, help? Someone? Hey, stop it! I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you're one step ahead of me. This is probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate you came here. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power called determination. I injected it into dying souls so their souls would last after death, but the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies start to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. So wait, those things have a determination in them? Yeah, when so, you inject determination to monsters, they turn into that. So they can control the timeline and shit too. No, they're not strong enough to hold determination, so they start to melt. But yeah, but they have determination in them, though. Yeah, but they don't have enough to control oh, the timeline. Oh, I gotcha. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing. Everything I'd done so far had such horrific failure, but now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there'll be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there'll be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Alright, so where do I go now? Go back to the elevator. What the fuck? I saw that. 
Enter number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. The queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? The flower is gone. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Serene, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Serene, see you soon. Is that Flowey? Uh, I don't even know who that is. The door is jammed shut with vines. Well, because it doesn't didn't sound like Flowey's text. Yeah, I know. Just <sighs> go back to the king. Yep, I'm on my way. Do 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 do. Poor flowers. Step on you. The end. Asgore, do I got a story to tell you? All right. First, I kicked your ass, then Flowey came, and. Just gonna keep on continuing on like nothing ever happened, huh? Please do what you must. There's nothing left to do. Continue. I see. This is it, then. Ready? Strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. Seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Go mama! What's up, go mama? What a <clears throat> what a miserable creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not abrade. Don't don't be a bray. Do don't be, be a bray. <laughs> do, do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I'd let you make your own journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. <clears throat> Almost swallowed an ice cube. <clears throat> Whoops. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori be dreamer, you pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. Huh? How is that? Wait a minute. He, he couldn't just take the souls peacefully. He'd have to go out and kill seven people. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't make any sense. How is that peacefully? I don't know. Technically, don't Asgore's plan was the most peaceful of them all, waiting for humans to drop down. 
But instead, you made everyone live in despair because you would rather wait here meekly hoping another human never comes. I found a hole in Undertale's uh, storyline. Toby Fox, want to explain yourself? You're right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? No, Asgore. Yeah, Asgore, human. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends or else I'll... I'll... <sighs> Burp. Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Uh, hey. Um, thank you, Windows 10. Appreciate that. Nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. Uh, hi. There's two of them. Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello? Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst, hey, human. Did Asgore shave and clone himself? <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys, what's up? God, going between their voices. That voice. Hello. I think we we may know each other. Oh, hey, I recognize your voice, too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans, and, uh, same. Oh, wait then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowee. I can't believe Asgore's clown knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus, what does a skeleton tile his roof with? Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. <laughs> I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Come on, Asgore. It's oh, Asgore's crying. Oh, poor guy. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about the fish thing. Sometimes you just gotta, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god! Will you two just smooch already? Dude, Asgore's face is, like, top tier right now. <laughs> like, just look at it, he's like, oh. Uh, hi there, Leg. <laughs> the audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy, right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he's right. Let's do it! Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. Wait, not in front of the human. Uh, sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you'll be happy here. Hey, hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you... How did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? Fuck. It's ya boy! Bruh, you better not kill them all. You idiots! While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all your friend's souls are gonna be mine too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. 
It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they would have wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, they will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? <laughs> Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away, just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen. If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen, you. I'll keep you here no matter what. Come on, I can't even move. Even if it means killing you a million times. I wonder what would happen if you cheated yourself to have 99 HP. I, I wonder if it would just keep attacking you over and over and over and over. I don't know. Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can get past... You can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Oh, you haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. T technically, it's impossible for you to beat him, but somehow I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. We're here with you too, la la la. Come here and you got this. You've got to win, you can do it. Ribbit. <laughs> uh, no! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You... You... Fuck. <laughs> I can't believe you're all so stupid! All of your souls are mine! Come on, man. It's a little baby. The fucking. I already forgot their names. <laughs> Asriel. Asgort. As. Oh, yeah, it's Asriel. You're right. Finally, I was so tired of being a flower. Wait, that's the same voice as the one on the tapes. Yeah. Cool. It's all coming together. Aw, he's so cute. Howdy. Shireen, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Asriel, dreamer. Oh, it's the end. Check. Asriel, dreamer. Infinite attack, infinite defense. Legendary being made of every soul in the underground. Plus the six human souls. Hope. You held on to your hopes. You reduce how much damage you'll take this turn. Oh! The true final battle was finally beginning. Asriel Dreamer. Hope you're ready. Hope. You kept holding on. Damage reduced. What the fuck? Uh, uh. 
Oh, I almost dodged all of them. Keep hoping you kept holding on. Damage reduced. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. No? Can I go home then? Oh shit. Hope. Oh, you kept holding on. Damage reduced. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. <laughs> Starfay. You drink the Starfay, your HP was maxed out. All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero, dude. This is my all-time favorite song. Yeah, I love this song. Hopes and dreams. Oh my god, it's so difficult. Oh, you kept holding on, damage reduced. Then we could do everything all over again. Ow! Starfay! Starfay! You drink the Starfay, your HP was maxed out. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it! Oh fuck. Yeah, get fucked. Starfay. And then you'll lose to me again. Dream. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. And again. Oh god. I'm gonna fight HP. Better mm. heal. Item. Oh shit, there's an item called Last Dream, what? Yep, Through that's what you did when you dreamed. Through determination, the dream became true. Your HP was maxed out. And again. What if you tried fighting him right here? You can't. You can't even, like, damage him at all? No. <laughs> because you want to... If you try, it'll say miss. It'll say what? Oh, you, you miss. miss. Because you want a happy ending? What's wrong with happy endings, man? You had a happy ending. Well, you would've if you weren't such a loser. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh! Eat the last dream. Because you love your friends? He's cheating! This is such crap! Because you never give up? What the fuck? Oh, that added stars to that one. That's cheating! <laughs> Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall. No, not. Ow! I get an easy one? I'm fucking almost out of food! Dream again! I can't when I have 8 HP! Heal, then dream again! Oh fuck, he's purging the timeline, Bob! Oh well, that doesn't really matter, you're gonna be left to 1 HP no matter what you do. What happened? You're gonna be left to 1 HP no matter what you do. Ugh! Even after that attack, you'll still standing in my way? You really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this! Huh. 
Oh, he's a beefcake! This is also one of my favorite songs. Um, it's called Burn and Despair. I can't use my item. You can't do anything. Struggle. You can't move your body. Fuck! Wait a minute. <gasps> but it refused. I'm stronger than you! Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends get you forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. Wow, all I have to do is stay at the top of that one. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. Ow. That actually hit me. Ow. <laughs> Still? Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. Oh, let's go! Save on dying. You reach out to Azrael's soul and call out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael, Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The lost soul appeared. Act. They hit. You tap the lost soul sight slightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. Oh, humans will die! Recipe. You ask the lost soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. You're our real enemy. I fucked her voice up right there. <laughs> clash. You clashed against the lost soul with all your might. She recognizes your fighting spirit. Silent, suddenly, memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. In the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The lost soul appeared. Nerd out. You ask the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? Oh, I don't hate you. I don't hate you. You're. A, you're we just a... hate having to do your voice so many yeah, times. Yeah, your voice fucked me up today. <laughs> Call. He called the lost soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. She doesn't know why, but this all seems very familiar. You've got to keep lying. Ow. Quiz. You ask the lost soul for help on a quiz question. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Dude, this is so... This is such a good way to end this game. What? Something's resonating. The lost souls appeared. Act lost soul. Puzzle. You ask the lost soul for help with a puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. I must capture a human. Just give up. Well, I did. Oh, I forgot their attack. Oh. Crossword. You tell the lost soul you think the jungle is tougher than crosswords. It seems to have a dim recollection of this fact. Then everyone will. Why even try? Fuck, I suck at their fight. <laughs> Recipe. You ask the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. You'll never see him again. Fuck, man, I'm so trash at this. <laughs> 
fucking damn it! If I'm probably gonna be the only person to ever die in this part. Who has the last soul to take a break from fighting with you? And not to Ted Solomon. Seems like it will. No wait, you're my friend! I could never capture you! Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. In the depths of Azure the Soul, something's resonating. Act, Lost Soul. Hug. You hug the Lost Soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. This is for your own good. Forgive me for this. Ow! You refuse to fight the Lost Soul. Something about this is so familiar. No one will leave again. This is my duty. You tell the lost soul that you won't hurt him, no matter what. Something about this is so familiar to him. You tell the lost soul you prefer butterscotch instead of cinnamon. Suddenly, her memories are flooding back. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. You feel your friend's souls resonating within Azrael. Save someone else. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger and stronger, it seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? Oh my god, it's such a good way to end this game! <laughs> I'm like tearing up right now. I thought that my Discord was crashing his nose. <laughs> you feel your friend's soul resonating with that Asriel. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no, I don't need anyone. You do, Asriel. You need me. Ow, stop hurting me. You also owe me five bucks. Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! Ow! I'm taking so much fucking damage. It doesn't really matter, though. Serene, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? doing this because you're special, Serene. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. Oh, those attacks won't touch me. It's just like Toil. No, that's not just it. I, I'm doing this because I care about you, Serene. Remember what I said along like, at the very beginning, there's only two people that won't, at a certain point, won't uh, hit you anymore? Yeah. Here's the other one. I care about you more than anybody else. Dude, it's like physically impossible to touch this. Yeah. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say, to go say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this. And just let me win! Oh, stop it! Stop it now! Serene, I am so alone, Serene. I'm so afraid, Serene. Serene, I... I... I'm 
I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Serene? I know. You're not actually Serene, are you? What? Serene's been not. gone for a long time. But you get to choose your name at the beginning of the game. How's my name not yeah, Serene? Yeah, you changed you. You were naming the first fallen human, A.K.A. Kara. What is your name? Frisk. That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, and Alphys. Toriel, monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I, I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. I'm gonna forgive him. He deserves it. He can't help what he did as a flower. What? Frisk, come on. You're you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I could do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire, with everyone's power, with everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. Bruh, he's going Super Saiyan. <laughs> I also don't remember there being that many monsters. Shattered. Gone. Goodbye, barrier. The barrier was destroyed. Frisk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go with the people who love you. Come here, little guy. <laughs> I don't want to let go. Frisk, you're, you're going to do a great job. No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. So wait, what happens to him after he gets rid of everyone? You can go back to the very beginning of the game and see him. By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Wait, you can go all the way back? Yeah. You can go all the way back to where you first started up the game. And see him. By Frisk. the flowers. This is all just a dream. A bad dream. Please, wake up! Oh, you're awake! I 
thank goodness. We were so worried, it felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah. You made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. <laughs> what did you get? Tears! Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them some sp space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what I'm not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems that the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish, we will all wait here for you. Here he is, guys! He's here! Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please, leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question, Frisk. Why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb the Mount Ebbet are said to, dis to disappear. Frisk. Why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Serene climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Serene hated humanity. What they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Serene. In fact, though you have similar, uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Serene wasn't really the greatest person. Which, well, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had, so maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you, Frisk. When Serene and I combine our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one they were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then because of me, we well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk. This whole time I blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, I would have had to have I would have had to wage war against all of humanity. In the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. But that's besides the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk? Be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there, and not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill, and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? And that's the end. That's all the dialogue. Right in the fields, huh? Uh, <laughs> it really hit me when he said there's a lot of flowies in the world. I'm like, damn, dog. 
Yeah. Oh, man. Alright, let's go all the way back. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. Don't leave. I'm ready. I'm ready. We made friends? Oh, yeah, those losers back there. Everyone. Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight <laughs> is so nice and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans, what's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. <laughs> I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Yes. Yeah! Frisk will be the best ambassador, and I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Oh god, Papyrus, no. Well, someone's gotta keep him from getting in trouble. See you guys. He just goes the other way. <laughs> yeah, he has to really teleport. Man, do I, can't I have to do everything. Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undying, wait up! Should I do something? Well, gotta go. <laughs> I wish they'd get back together. That'd be nice. Yeah. Well, it seems everyone's quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? Well, seeing as I went on top of that mountain to kill myself, I really don't have anywhere else to go. <laughs> I want to stay with you. What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. If you would have said no, you would have received a picture at the end of all of them together. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Undertale cast. Froggin. Whimsom. Professional frog. Silly so guilty. Wait a minute, why are some in... Why are some in yellow and some aren't? That's something I have yet to figure out. Cause you have to you have to spare everyone, so it's like Yeah, I wouldn't know what that is. Spooky DJ. I'm pretty sure it's like something on like the internet about it. Papyrus by Toby and Timmy. Sands by Toby. I like how Papyrus is in a car and Sans is still going faster. Well, Papyrus' car is his bed. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's the same thing. That's the same... His car is the bed. You look him on his date, you see that. Hmm. Oh, right. <laughs> Christmas display. Doggo has his own seeing eye dog. Doggy me and Doggerisa. Finally, number one nose nuzzle champions. Oh, they've been. No! That's As... because Asgore and Toyo aren't together anymore. Yeah. Searching for affection, Greater Dog, excited by life's changes. <gasps> Onion Son! I thought you didn't like him. I don't mind Onion Son. 
Oh, they kiss. Well, nine, 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 nine. <laughs> By Temmy reluctantly. He didn't. Temmy didn't want to try her. <laughs> Temmy. Temmy. <laughs> Legendary Janet or Washua. Mad Dummy and Shiren. Calm down just a bit, taking piano lessons again. <gasps> Metaton! Bum, 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 bum. Metaton! Bum, bum. Uh, Shiren, Nabstablook, and I don't know who that is. Uh, Burger Pants in oh, the bushes. Yeah. Vulcan, Sudari Plane, Encouraging Space Heater, finally confesses. What? I don't! <laughs> Pyro Open Muffet, Candle in the World's Largest Birth Cake, Spider Success with New Bakery. Real Guards. Use your imagination! <laughs> Final Frog and Whimsit, giving life its own meaning, the long battle finally ending. Stigmatism. Domineering Glasses Seller. Magic and Night Knight. Taking a well deserved nap and Street Magician. Amalgamites! Question marks. Living with their families, thinking about sticks. Huh. Oh, I look at Asgore! Toil finally got the, the school she wanted. <laughs> Did you really think it was over? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, you fuck. I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. <laughs> fuck you, Azriel, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Let's end all of this for good. <laughs> oh, wait. No, wait. I don't want to do this. Fuck you. No. Why is this a thing? You know that door where you wanted to fight that secret boss at? Yeah, well, hold on, I can't. Uh, well, I I've already lost. Yeah, if you manage to dodge all the credits, you can actually do that. Open it. I've already lost. Yeah. Well, that's it for Undertale, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, of course. If you're new, subscribe. We always enjoy a new addition to the Ark of Army. This game's awesome, dude. I love it. It was one of my favorites. I think that this is the kind of game you can really go back and play through over and over. And it's just... God damn, dude. I've n I haven't had feelings for a game like this in a long time. And it's just... Oh, man. Top tier. If you've never played Undertale, you were just missing out. It took me years to beat this game because I was trash in the beginning. I literally lost in the tutorial and I lost all hope for it. But I'm glad I decided to get back into it. But, uh, yeah, guys. I hope you all did enjoy. Make sure you slap a like on it, guys. I'm gonna head out of here. I've obviously failed the special thanks area, so... Um, <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for joining me on this uh, journey throughout this game. I love you all, and I'll talk to you later. This is your lovely thanks boy. Thanks for being the encyclopedia, Bob. Yeah, Bob. You, you, you the encyclopedia. In, Embobopedia. You're the Embobopedia. Oh, look at me dodging these names, Bob. Whoa, dude, I'm like so good. I'm definitely gonna get that secret ending. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. Peace.